All right, everybody, I went ahead and posted on Facebook on what flavors you wanted me to do for a review. I had up there Wild Mango, uh, Jack and Coke, and Cherry Coke. And I got five votes for Wild Mango, one vote for Jack and Coke, so Wild Mango it is. Here you go. Alright everyone, how we doing? Back again. It's the Hookah Doctor bringing you a review on Fantasia Wild Mango. Boop. No, that was right. Yeah. It's kind of backwards, but whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the cut on this and the smell. Oh my gosh. I can already smell this from the box. It's so good. Oh, nice. um, it's kind of dark. Really dark, actually. It's got a nice um, orangey red kind of tint. It's not the exact red that a lot of Fantasia has, but tons of juice inside it. It cuts nice. It's got little bits of stems in there, which, um, from what I picked up, holds a lot of flavor and stuff like that. Um, the leaf cut is variant from big to small, um, which I like because it kind of adds a variety to it. The smell smells like a mango. It's got that pineapple, that kind of piney flavor to it, or scent rather. Um, but fruity at the same time, really sweet. You want to eat it when you smell it. You just want to take a big handful and go oh, like that. So the smell is phenomenal. And I'm not going to lie, I've already had a couple of bowls of this, and it's fantastic. So usually whenever I do a review, I try to do a review the first or second time I try the flavor. Um, so it's a surprise to me as much as, as it is to you. Um, I don't want to come into it with all... Um, uh, pre-advanced notions of what it's going to taste like and then just tell you what I've had time building up of what it tastes like so I want to tell you what it tastes like to me first off but however this tastes the same as when I tasted it first off which is amazing so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the uh, clouds oh first let me tell you what I got rolling I've got my small Maya with a little bit of orange juice and water in the base um, using a hookafina I thought it was a toxic hose for a little while but it's a hookafina plastic hose uh, I've got my funnel bowl um, packed pretty densely um, with three coconuts going on and two sheets of foil with medium to large holes. Um, I had a heat shield on it to get it going first and then I took it off because it gets pretty hot with three coconuts on. So let me show you this. Clouds have been better on the past couple of bowls that I've uh, used, but um, so not too bad. Clouds are about average; they're nothing superior or spectacular. But where the real money is on this flavor is the flavor itself, um, the wild mango. It's delicious. To be honest, I'm not even a, a big mango fan, but this flavor has so much to it. There's so much, you can pick so many fruits out. Like you can taste apple, peach, you can taste um, almost like a mandarin or orange or whatever like that inside it. Now I do have orange juice in the base, that just really helps out the flavor. It's um, concentrate orange juice, so it's not real orange juice. So there's a lot of additive flavors in there as well. Probably mango, I wouldn't be surprised if there was mango inside it. But um... powerfulness of the taste it's four out of five it's and it's pushing a five I mean it's great um, you really taste every little bit that you'd expect when you smell it when you smell it it's pretty much what you're smoking um, it just goes right into the back of your taste buds all over your tongue and your mouth and stuff like that in your throat it's fantastic the smoke is nice and cool it's um, not a cooling effect it's not like blue mist but it's definitely nice and cool it doesn't get too harsh or anything like that um, that's one thing I've noticed. I thought I burned it uh, the last bowl I did, but um, ended up recovering within two minutes. Whew. 
So clouds are three out of five. That's a fist bump right there. Um, the flavor is four out of five. You know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I just am partial to this flavor and didn't know it. But I'm gonna go ahead and give it a five out of five. So that is two thumbs up. Way to go, Fantasia, with two thumbs up. I think that's one of the first um, reviews that I've done that's been two thumbs up so far. So go ahead, go out and pick up this flavor. This flavor is phenomenal. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, looking at the box to see if there's any descriptions for the flavors. Though I think they only do that for the new Trendsetta series. Um, so overall, this is getting a thumbs up, four out of five, with the clouds and the um, powerfulness of the taste, four out of five. That's one thumb up. That's fantastic. That's great. Um, as you can see, I just want to keep smoking. I don't even want to do this review anymore. I just want to hang up and stop right now. But uh, like I said, uh, the cut is very juicy. That's why I'm also using a funnel bowl so it um, holds all that juice in there. It won't leak through uh, a regular bowl. Like if I used this bad boy, it would just leak out everywhere. Um, so I would suggest you use a funnel bowl or a vortex bowl or something to that nature if you're going to smoke this flavor. Um, really good. I checked a bunch of the other boxes too before I even bought it and all the rest were just as juicy. Um, it might have been just that batch but I am inclined to disagree. I mean the more I'm smoking it right now the clouds are getting better and better. Um, however, on average, it is average um, smoke. It's not spectacular. It's not great. They're good. So still fist bump on those. Uh, yeah, this is the Hookah Doctor bringing you a prescription on Fantasia Wild Mango. Like I said, go pick this up. You won't be disappointed at all. So yeah, this is the Hookah Doctor signing out. Gentleman